Hola preciosuras. If we are crooked, I'm sorry. Bienvenidos a nuestro canal. Welcome to our channel. I wanted to make this video because it's... I'm gonna literally start every video by saying it's the most important topic, but beauty is very based, very subjective. Objective. Is beauty objective or subjective? No me maten, I get those two confused, you know? I don't, my grammar, English, even Spanish grammar, who knows what language I speak. Beauty is very subjective. We all have our own definitions of beauty, but we all strive to feel beautiful in whatever way that makes you feel. Everyone has their own personal style, their own like things that make them feel beautiful. And I'm gonna tell you something. I am an intensely insecure girl. I've always been that way. And I think I'm always trying to figure that out, what makes me insecure and how I behave and you know, all those little, all those deep, deep moments of journaling and trying to figure yourself out. But because I do that, I feel like I have grasped confidence in a way, not all the time. Confidence is a huge, huge, huge part of my life that I'm always trying to reach for. And I feel like with, with years, I have slowly gotten way better than what I used to be. But with all the internal work, I still reach for external things like perfumes, like lipstick, like, you know, jewelry, other things that make you feel beautiful. So these, you know, not to say that these only make you feel beautiful. There are also like several different factors to all perfumes, but these perfumes I chose because I was looking through my wardrobe, my perfume wardrobe, and I said, the one thing that jumps out at me from these perfumes is beautiful. Like that's the number one thing that I feel when I reach for these perfumes or that I want to feel. It's like maybe I'm having a day where I just feel ugly, like nothing is working, my hair is not working, I just don't feel that great about myself. So I will reach for one of these, I will kind of doll myself up, I will pick myself up and I will reach for a perfume that makes me feel beautiful. Or if I'm having, I'm having a very confident day and beauty is, I just want to feel that inner beauty, the outer beauty, the vain beauty, whatever, I reach for one of these perfumes because the first thing that ignites in me is beautiful. I want to feel beautiful. So I chose these. I think I have 10 and I don't think I did that on purpose. I think it just ended up being 10. But my brain is scattered clearly, so maybe I did it on purpose. So I wanted to share the ones from my collection that I just just make me feel that beautiful pick me up. Just make me feel like, yes, you make me look in the mirror and be like, you're pretty. And I don't care. I don't care what you look like, what, where you come from, or what kind of person you are, what your interests are. I feel like we are all connected in this, in this feeling of, of wanting to feel beautiful. And we all need to look in the mirror and tell yourself, you are beautiful. Wow. Like, look at you. You all need to do that. You all need to look in the mirror, including myself because it's a really important affirmation. Whatever, an affirmation. No, it's a really important practice to have for your confidence, for your life, for your everyday. I'm gonna stop preaching and tell you about the perfumes that do this to me. Okay, okay. These are in no particular order. So the first one I will mention, why is it focusing on my chest? The first one we're going to talk about is, um, I'm, I don't know how to say it, I don't know how to say it, Nila Vermeer Creations, it's such a beautiful name and beautiful bottles and beautiful perfumes and I'm sorry I don't know how to say it, but this is Bombay Bling and this makes me feel stunning. I don't care if I'm in my scrubs and I'm filthy. 
Uh, I don't want those kind of memories with these beautiful perfumes, but sometimes it's necessary. Like, I, I will wear this, I have worn this to work, and it just makes me feel so pretty and, and put together and clean. Like, that's the number one thing I feel when I'm moving around and I catch a whiff of her. And she's long lasting. She's a, this is like a very fruity, musky, uh, just gorgeous perfume and it's I, I feel it's perfect for spring and summer like a hot weather but I'm really gonna try and wear it in the cold if we get a day of cold weather here but if we do I'm gonna wear it and test it out because I do think that it would be completely cozy comforting beautiful in the cold weather this is Bombay bling and I'm definitely getting a full-size bottle once this is done because this has become a lifer for sure I don't think I'm ever gonna get through 10 perfumes, my god. Y'all are gonna laugh at me, but... Tom Ford, Eau de Soleil Blanc, makes me feel beautiful. <laughs> it really does. I... This... <sighs> So the original Soleil Blanc is a very beautiful perfume and I love it, I do, I love it. But this one makes me feel beautiful. This is a lighter, watery, er version of the Soleil Blanc and I just think it's so, it makes me feel like clean beauty on a tropical island. I just love this so it's almost done I mean it's almost done I just this is so beautiful I literally feel like walking like a walking beauty when I wear this perfume Eau de Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford I also haven't tried this in the cold it's very light. I don't think it will perform that well in the cold, but definitely in spring on and summer on hot days. Oh my gosh, it's I love I love this so much. Mmm, beauty. Now this is beautiful on another level. Toothless. This pure poison. I'm like, is that the name? Pure Poison by Dior is makes me feel also like so clean and beautiful like when I put this on I just feel so ready my mood is lifted and I feel like I did my hair and I put on some really good shoes and I this this scent makes you feel so, makes me feel so, 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 so beautiful. Pure poison. It's, it's like no other. This scent to me really is like no other. It's like a, like a soapy, clean, white floral that's also, that's, you know, a lot of people call this sexy. And some of these are sexy too, but I don't find this one sexy. I just find it so beautiful. I guess I'm picking my summer scents because I also have not tried this. I love you. I just, I haven't smelled you in so long. Oh my God. Oh, beauty, beauty, beautiful. Granada by Memo Paris. I haven't smelled, I haven't tried this in the winter. Oh, oh such a stunner. Talk about the ultimate beautiful princess queen that would just strolling down the street and like tan tanning oil all over your legs and simple jewelry with your hair just blown out this makes me feel so beautiful this makes me feel like i'm walking around and like i deserve to feel beautiful that's what this is with this one it's just so gorgeous and this one i think um it also, it also smells very beachy, but like a very st 
stunning like aromatic orange blossom with some beech notes in there. I don't think it has any coconut, but definitely orange blossom. It's so beautiful. I should tell you what it, what the notes are. I don't have my phone. <laughs> Will I write it down? Who knows? But it's stunning. It's a stunner. If you Granada by Memo Paris, if you and look at this bottle. I mean, who wouldn't look? Uh, who wouldn't feel beautiful? Who wouldn't feel beautiful just even looking at this bottle on your vanity? It's stunning. Should I try and show you the bottles? You gotta, you guys gotta tell me, cause I feel like I wouldn't do a really good job. It's like super reflecting. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna wear her right now, cause I don't have one on. So beautiful, and I think this one. Really, it's kind of hot today. I think this is like a perfect, beautiful scent for like if you have a meeting, if you have a date, if you're just chilling by yourself and you did your makeup and you're like drinking a glass of wine or a little cup of espresso in your home and like your home is super clean and <laughs> you got your you got your lipstick on or lip gloss and you got your nails done like just chilling by yourself. Yes, just feel beautiful in your perfumes. This is a freaking stunner. Mm. Let me tell you something about Coco Mademoiselle. This is the EDT. I've had the EDT, I've had the EDP, then I've had the EDP, then I've had the EDT. I haven't had the intense one though, but I got sick of her for a bit, but now I'm back. <laughs> and I think a lot, I know a lot of people say this is young. I don't think this is young. I think it's fun. I think it's fun and free and beautiful. This is Coco Mademoiselle, I feel, is ageless. I think um, this will always be in my collection. You now, intermittently in life, I think I'll, I'll always have it, some, some version of this. I just adore this scent, and this is like the ultimate, ultimate. I want to feel beautiful. I'm going to just spritz this on and walk down the street in my joggers, in my, my flip-flops, my slides, or my hair's in a ponytail, but it's clean. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this this is effortlessly, effortlessly beautiful at all moments. And I have fallen in love with her again. I've worn this for I've worn her for so long and this fresh, just really Chanel like patchouli and I she's a definite stunner. She's a keeper. Effortless effortlessly beautiful. I woke up like this. That is this perfume. <laughs> you guys tell me if you have tried Freckled and Beautiful. Freckled and Beautiful by Lab on Fire, right? Lab on Fire. I get confused sometimes if Labs on Fire is another name of a perfume or a name of the house. David R. Apple. Apple. Lord have mercy. It, uh, I think it's a Lab on Fire. <laughs> Freckled and Beautiful is another effortlessly but so chic and beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is such a, such a stunning, wonderful, delicious because it's kind of a gourmand but not really because it's just like, it makes you feel like you're floating on this cloud and you got like servants feeding you and you have just the most beautiful things around you and you're just a gorgeous woman or man whoever's wearing this it's got such an interesting like biscuit note in there and it's savory but luxurious and not like it's so interesting. I've never smelled anything like it and it really makes you feel beautifully high class but also really effortless. Like it says, freckled and beautiful, like you rolled out of bed and you just feel 
beautiful in your skin. I just love this one. I Tell me if you've tried it. Freckled and beautiful. Oh, the birds and the mountains. I love LA. My view. I wish I could film that way, but then you would only see my view. You wouldn't see me, or do you prefer that? Don't answer. <laughs> oh, this is like, I am so rich and I am so beautiful and just gonna have the best day ever. And I'm gonna have the best food, the best biscuits in the world. <laughs> oh, but it's not like buttery. It's like floral biscuit heaven. Oh, stunning, freckled and beautiful. How appropriate. Speaking of gourmands, non-gourmands, but I guess this is more of a gourmand, but not really. I mean, yes, oof, hot dog, like, man. And I don't know how to say this, and, and I'm Latina, like my previous one, I said the name wrong, my God, how embarrassing. Charlotte. Uh, for a size, yes and do. Uh, absolutely stunningly makes you feel beautiful. And this is more of a winter scent for me. Just because, not that you can't wear it in the, in the heat, because I do think this performs well in the heat. But it just smells like the holidays. This is like, and I know it's inspired by um, a cake that the perfumer, I know it's inspired by a cake that the perfumer's grandmother used to make. Please, God, let me be right. I believe so. Um, it's like a, a smoky Christmas cake. But it, it like, <laughs> I'm losing my words. Yes and Do by Versailles is like, you know, you're getting ready and you put on your favorite lipstick on. Just feeling an A plus, you're going to get a bonus at your, your company's Christmas party and you spray this on and it's just those kind of feels. You are just taking over, your beauty is shining, you're taking over, and you're gonna get that bonus. <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. So, it just, it really does. It makes me feel like just a little bottle of beauty. This video is really long, isn't it? I know I said these weren't ranked, but like my go-to's, I guess, my go-to's when I need to desperately feel beautiful are these next three, right? Like when I'm just desperate and I need that pick-me-up and I need to feel beautiful, help me, I go to these. Maison Francis Courchon Gentle Fluidity Gold. I have tested this for so long and I never got a bottle because I was afraid it'd be too sweet. But you know what? It's a very sweet scent, but on me, on me, I get all of these notes. Like I, I get this very sweet kind of bitter coffee. I don't know. I feel stunning when I wear this. I feel like I am so beautiful and I was wearing it last night in my pajamas and my hair was a mess and and I just felt like I'm on a runway, you know? Like this just makes me feel really beautiful. Without fail. Like successful beauty. That's what this is. This vanilla, this is like one of my favorite vanillas. Oh, and I got another one here too. <laughs> but Gentle Fluidity Gold, you guys gotta, you guys gotta try it out. You gotta, this is another one that, this is one that like smells so good, but also gives you an experience. Like for me, it gives me an experience of feeling beautiful. Let me know. And my God. Who doesn't know this bottle? This bottle. This bottle, Mon Guerlain, is such classic, such classically, class, 
classically beautiful. <laughs> classically beautiful. This is also, like sometimes, you know, sometimes it's weird because it can be a little too sweet, but I never mind it. This lavender vanilla perfume is just beautiful, makes you feel beautiful. And like it's intended to because it's inspired by one of the most beautiful women in the world, Angelina Jolie. You know, she's beautiful inside and out. This was inspired by her. So this is one of my top perfumes that just makes me feel like I'm beautiful. Like I, like spray this, wake up, go do my makeup, or not, or just brush my teeth <laughs> and walk out the door. If I'm wearing this, I feel femininely beautiful. I don't think the lavender is that masculine, like I've told you guys, I don't know why people say that, but I mean, I think a man can wear this, you can wear whatever you want. To me, makes me feel feminine. Makes me feel like a feminine classic beauty. And I, it's a lifer. Are all of these lifers? I could never do that video, I don't think, because we'd be here for days. Mon Guerlain. I hope you have it in your collection because it is so beautiful. And if you're a man, yeah, let me know. Let me know if you wear this. I do. Now I'm getting this picture. Like, it would be so sexy on a man. Haven't tried it, though. Haven't tried it. Haven't smelled it on any man, so gotta find out. But classic beauty. Mongolon. I know you know that this was gonna be on here. Because you wanna feel beautiful. To me, this is one of the most beautiful experiences I've ever felt is wearing Delina. Delina was an absolute love at first sniff and this is the original. It's not the exclusive. The exclusive is also beautiful but that one's a little more sexy. This is beautiful. My gosh. I don't know what rhubarb smells like. I know that I've never smelled anything like this before. It smells fresh. And does it smell like lychee? I know it, those are like the main notes in this scent, but I think you have to smell this for yourself. If you have not smelled Delina, I think you need to go sniff it. You need to experience it, ask for a sample, buy a sample. It, Delina makes, is the, like it's the epitome of a beautiful like it's the epitome of me having a beautiful day i love delina so much and and i have no idea how to describe her there's a ton of videos i know describing how she smells like for me this is also an intense experience of perfume i feel like a million i feel like someone has invested a million dollars in making me look beautiful and feel beautiful when i wear this perfume delena makes me feel like i'm beautiful on the inside and out and i just it is she is so therapeutic to me so therapeutic for those days where i just i need I just need her. I need to just give myself that extra oomph to feel my best and feel beautiful. That's Delina. Delina makes me. Delina really makes it, makes it happen for me. I think we covered all, yeah? Yes. Yes. Well, those are like the top 10 perfumes that I reach for in my collection when I want to feel beautiful, whether I'm already feeling beautiful or whether I need a pick me up. That's, these are the ones that I, that just bring that, that feeling of inner beauty and outer beauty in me. It just helps boost my confidence and I love them. I love them for doing that for me. <laughs> like, thank you. Thank you. I don't know why you guys tune in. <laughs> 
but I hope you guys know that you are beautiful and that you don't need anything but these things help so much for me personally these these perfumes just help me so much in that way to be able to reconnect and be like no you're beautiful snap out of it or yes let's do this we're beautiful you know so I want you to tell me do you think that of these perfumes do you agree with me or do you not or tell me which ones just you the give you the same uh, beautiful just tell me which talk tell me which ones make you feel beautiful los amo mis amores I love you los amo los quiero mucho have a great day have a beautiful day feel beautiful look in that mirror and tell yourself you are so beautiful because you are do you come to this channel to hear me preach no am I gonna do it Ciao, te amo. I think we're gonna be playing this light game, the sun game for a while.